On this episode of Cell TV, breakthrough, breaking news in detox. I may have tipped my hand in some of the past shows about the new and improved Cytodetox. Well, in this show, you're gonna hear all about it. This is truly a game changer in detoxification, and I believe a game changer in helping the epidemic of conditions that right now people are struggling to fix. This is a show that you're gonna to want to watch and share, and I am here live on, uh, right here on uh, in Systemic Formulas, uh, and I am here with the biochemist himself, Dr. Shane Morris, who made some new technology possible to fulfill a vision and a dream that I've had about detoxification for a long time. He made it happen. Stay tuned for a game-changing cellular healing TV. On location today at Systemic Formulas right. with my favorite, our favorite biochemist, <laughs> Shane Morris. I always say that, don't yeah, I? That's yeah. great. Uh, he is our favorite because we've developed a lot of product uh, right. together. You've developed more product than me, but we've developed some specific products together. Uh, okay, today's topic. This is this is breaking news. You know, most people don't know that we've been working on a new site of detox for yeah. a while. Unless they're coming <laughs> to your show and yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I, I had a vision. I mean, when we talk about detox, and all of you know this, right? I talk about all the pitfalls in detoxification, right? Cellular detox. If you haven't seen it, if you're new to the show, go back and watch. I have a lot of episodes on why real detox has to be at the cell. We have a little cool cell here today, but anyways, why real detox has to be at the cell and the pitfalls of a lot of detox products. And right. I'm big into the science. You're the scientist. And you know, you and I laugh at a lot of these products that people bring to the market. And it's, they simply don't work. Some can be dangerous, uh, cause a lot of redistribution. Cyto Detox, when it came on the scene, it changed detoxification. It made a lot of things easier made a lot of things more effective. However, working with hundreds of doctors, um, I had some visions uh, to take it even to the next level. So, we have a new and improved right. Cytodetox. Yep. <laughs> and you know, this has been in my vision. You know, when I first envisioned this, we, we got what, one of the magic parts about Cytodetox is it has these little particles called clinoptilolite. Mm -hmm. It's from a zeolite molecule. And we got them in a range that's able to cross the gut, which was a big issue because zeolite particles, big particles, wouldn't cross the gut. Right. But and also into the membranes, into the cell, and even crossing the blood-brain barrier. But the vision was this. I want some particles that are bigger, that have even more binding capacity, and that they don't cross into the membranes because that would minimize redistribution. So folks, if you can imagine this, we have small particles, they have the ability, it doesn't look that small, but this is a, a clinoptilolite particle with a binding capacity. It has the ability, the small ones, to cross into the membranes and create detox. However, I wanted some bigger particles that stayed outside the cell, right? So we'll, we'll kind of go halfway with this. And medium size. Right, medium size. So I always envisualize this as two different products. One that we use to cross into the membranes and one that we use out here to basically clean up, if you will. Yeah. minimize symptoms, you know, better binding capacity, all of that. The problem when I took this to you and others, they said, well, the problem is, is these bigger particles, they don't even cross the gut. So we, that's one of the issues. And we were kind of at a standpoint for some years, but the new and improved Cytodetox, we're gonna to talk to you about how we broke through some of these challenges. So the new and improved Cytodetox has more than just a broader range of size particles. We have small ones, we have medium, and we have even really big ones yes. that probably don't even leave the gut, but that Absolutely. could be a really good thing. We'll talk about that. So imagine a new product. Here, the old product, a lot of small particles, breakthrough in technology, has the ability to cross into the membranes, transform detox. My vision was, let's get some bigger ones that clean up. We could go at a higher dose, minimize symptoms, more effective binder, and even bigger ones yet that don't leave the gut. We did it in one product. And that was a surprise to me. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's, let's pull back a little bit. I, I talked about, that's the breaking news. So, but let, let's pull back into this technology. 
um, zeolites. Let's just give some people a little reference about these things and yeah, why and, they're good for detox. And, and I like to frame it in, what we did for this new product was we, we put it in three steps, or we made it a three-step process. So it's actually very difficult, and it took a lot of time and it took a lot of energy to, to intellectually and physically get through each of the three steps. You've talked about one of the steps, and that is this, this new distribution of particle sizes. Yeah. And, and that benefits us in a couple of ways, which we'll get back into. And, and, and let's not bore people, but let's at least give them the Dalton size. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the, the, old, the old product, which was extremely effective, it, it had from what size to what size? 200 to 600. Okay, so 200 to 600 size yeah. Dalton. So we'll call that this size. Okay. And now we've gone from 200 up to 2,000 plus. So we went from here, we have particles this size. Right. It, it about the same number, by the way. And then we have particles so up to here. Bigger. And right. then in some different ranges. We have some particles this big. We have some particles this right. big. But we have a range from 200 to 2,000 versus 200 to 600. Right. Okay. And, and we'll get back to why that's important in a second. The first step, however, though, you mentioned zeolites. Zeolites tend to be a heavy metal burdened um, product mm -hmm. because you pull it out of the earth and in the earth that's what one of their jobs is right. they filter they're an ion exchange product and they can filter in and trap heavy metals and, and by the way let me stop you there uh, we had you know i uh, the health ranger uh, mike adams he was like great zeolites are great for binding but they're dirty products yeah. and he tested the last site of detox and he was shocked that hey this this didn't have all of the heavy metals that all these other zeolites on the market have so he was impressed with the cleanliness of the last product. However, when we start making more particles, we could run into more problems yeah. with some One of the, of the challenges with zeolites is you'll notice that most of them on the market, the vast majority that we've tested, they have contaminations yeah. or heavy metal contaminations. So what they do is they dilute them to a level that that contamination is minimized, mm -hmm. but it also minimizes the zeolite product, yeah. which minimizes its binding capacity. So Absolutely. one of the first steps was to clean the zeolite clean, clean this clinic totally. So we needed a new yeah. cleaning process, especially because we have more particles and we get bigger particles right. that potentially have such strong binds, we better they clean have a lot even more heavy better. Than right, yeah. exactly. And, you know, to put that in perspective, most of the zeolites we tested, you know, you like to keep things under, under a half a part per million. That's 0.5 ppm or 500 ppb. Again, that's boring stuff, but when we were bringing in zeolites to do this, they were testing 20, 30, 40 parts per million. That's extremely high, and the only way to either do that is clean them, thoroughly clean them, and we had to create new technology to do that, or dilute them, right? So many companies just dilute them. Right. We opted for the cleaning step. But Why? you lose, you dilute them, you get a cleaner product, product, but you lose the efficacy. You do. So we decided that's not going to work because right. new and improved right. means let's raise the level of clinoptilolite in the, the formula, yeah. but it's got to be clean. Yeah. So we went through a number of steps, it's now clean. Right. Yeah, we're testing below, in some cases, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. It's a much, much, much cleaner product. That's the starting point. So once we had that, we knew we could then take it to the next steps, which is step two and three. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned step two, which is changing the size of clinoptilolite. Bigger range. Right, bigger ranges. And that really affords us a couple of cool things. One, as you mentioned, it can permeate different tissues. Huge. It can stay within Huge. the GI. But from my perspective, as a formulator and, and scientist, it also does a few things. It becomes more soluble when it's smaller, mm -hmm. which means we can do the step three. It has to be soluble in order for step three to work, which right. we'll get to. And secondly, the binding capacities change dramatically from size. So if I only delivered this particle size mm -hmm. to the body, I have very limited binding capacity in the center of this, of this sphere, right. right? And that's one of my challenges. But if I deliver this product, I can now bind multiple, more, even more. more. Right. If I deliver this product, holy cow! There's increasing evidence that this product not only binds multiple heavy metals, but it can also start binding larger molecules. Yeah. And we're going to do some studies to help prove mm -hmm. that. But you know, now, you and I are now looking at larger organic molecules that can fit inside. Yeah. Here, right. No, look, look, go like ahead. Mycotoxins is one. Absolutely. Of them, right? Mycotoxins, heavy um, metals, of and there course, are others you know, we other, want to look right. at. But now we're talking big. So there's a gradient that we can create. Now, yeah. now we're looking at different versions. These are gonna be less soluble, mm -hmm. so they're gonna, they're gonna stay in the formula and then stay in the GI. These are gonna be moderately, and then these are gonna be highly. Right. So they're gonna be yeah. trapped within yeah. phase three. And, and that's brilliant. We, we always, I always say you want some to stay in the GI because yeah. that's where a lot of toxins get dumped. And, but we want these guys to cross the GI 
but not into the cell. These guys we want to cross and into the cell. So that's the brilliance of the new and improved formula here. But okay, so the problem was, is when I brought this to scientists and you in the past, that it's like, okay, the problem is, is these guys, let's say these medium guys, we can't get them across the cell. And of course we can't get these guys across, I'm sorry, the membrane. We can't get them across the membrane. Yeah, it's and because I want them in the blood. I don't necessarily want these in the cell, but I want them in and around the cell to clean up. Why is that important for us? Is because it minimizes redistribution of any metals that get pulled out. When we upregulate cell function, we're gonna start moving metals out that may not get bound into these little guys, but now we wanna clean that up. So with these medium guys that don't go into the membranes, we can clean up and they're great binders. The problem was you can't get them across the gut. What did we do to solve the problem? Yeah, the phase three of this entire project was liposomes. There you go. It's a really old technology, not really old, I mean it's relatively new, but it's old in the pharmaceutical industry. They have used liposomes to deliver drugs. What are they? Um, so much more effectively. And what do they look like? That's a great question. They, they literally look like a baby cell. They're a bilayer membrane formed by phosphatidylcholine. Okay, so there's, if we're, here's that medium that size we're medium trying size. to get and across. We're talking much bigger. Right, so, so these are gonna be it's big. a big fat yeah. molecule, if you will, that it surrounds is. this guy. Now why will this not go across the membrane, but this will go, yeah, across, so I'm sorry, I keep saying membrane, with a gut barrier. Right, so. and membranes. Okay. So the reason liposomes work is because, as I mentioned, they're a, they're a bilayer, just like your membranes. And this bilayer of phosphatidylcholine has a aqueous center, which holds all these. Mm -hmm. And then it has the, the bilayer membrane that turns it into a sphere, mm -hmm. that, that, almost like a baby cell. When you eat it, you can either you know, leave it in mm -hmm. your mouth or as it's, as it's transiting the GI, it fuses with the tissue. Got it. And then it can deliver the contents into, the vast majority of the contents actually get distributed the into the lymph tissue. Yeah, which goes system. throughout the body. Though. And then that, of course, yeah. eventually merges with the bloodstream so right. they can cross back Brilliant. and forth. Yeah. And we know this technology works because, the, again, the pharma industry has used it over and over and over again to deliver compounds very effectively, raises the efficacy of a compound significantly nice. because yeah. it essentially bypasses a lot of the GI issues. Mm -hmm. Now, in our case, that's not as critical because this is a tough molecule. We still want to get it into the bloodstream. Fortunately, with clonotilolites, is it will, they will transit the GI. And that's a point I want to bring up that nobody's talking about. Mm -hmm. And we talk about these organic binders. And I love organic binders, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. But I love them probably for a different reason than everybody else. Okay. Everybody else loves them because they're considered binders. I love them because I know that the microbiome alters them, metabolizes them, somehow utilizes them in different ways. By the way, I've seen it over it, and over. And that's a problem with Corella that right. is marketed as this amazing metal binder, cilantro. Yeah. The microbiome destroys them. And they, the problem is they contain so many enzymes, you know, to yeah. our to our 23,000 genes, they have 3 million, which means they can produce enzymes that cut up these organic compounds to use. They want to use them. So like, in vitro, they can take cilantro and go, look, it binds, right. but there's no microbiome there's no there. microbiome. Yeah. You add a bunch of enzymes from bacteria, right. that changes the game. Now, I still think it's a benefit to my microbiome. Absolutely. But I'm, but I'm yeah, not... I don't have a problem with Corella, but right. I have a problem with marketing as this as amazing a huge binder. binder yeah. And a binder that's right. going to make it successfully through the entire GI, mm -hmm. holding on to something. Yeah. And that, that, I, that I question. Right. Yeah. So this particle, though, it's the microbiome... It's completely impermeable yeah. to microbiome. Right. Because it's... It's based on a silica type yeah, framework. Right. We don't have the enzymes, neither do microbiome. If we did, you'd see the beaches of the world consumed by organisms, yeah. right? That's, <laughs> That's what it's like, it's like yeah. sand. Uh -huh. and so it's not gonna get consumed. So when it binds up its heavy metals, you've got a much greater potential of exiting, having those exit the body. Mm -hmm. Either you know, through, any, through all route of phase three, whether it be the urine, skin and the feces right you know that it's it's going yeah. to survive yeah well look okay so let, let's just review there's three things we kind of zipped right through yeah, Amari. number one with we, why this product is new and improved number one we had to clean it up yeah because it, we have bigger it, binders it binds right. more that's good but we better have a better way and we to clean and it. we emptied it out i mean yeah. before there was heavy metals in there right by the time we go to to size it this is empty yeah Ready, yeah. ready to ready bind, to right, exactly. Okay, number two, we had a problem, obviously, um, with size. Yeah. Number two? Number two, size, we broke it into a number of pieces, the small, 
to deliver into tight spaces, tissues, right? right? Exactly. And the, the cells. medium, you know, lymph, blood, mm -hmm. and so on, and then the large to transit the GI. Right. Perfect. And we made sure using mass spectrometry mm -hmm. to maintain those distributions. Right. And then because these guys won't go across the gut readily, then we needed liposomal technology. Liposomal technology. Right, yeah. which is where we are. Okay, there's one actually thing that we decided. I'm a big fan. You've heard me talk about the benefit of multiple types of binders. Right. I believe, clinically, you know, when you look at cellular detox, we have different binders because different right. binders bind certain things better than others. Different binders bind, go into different tissues. I'm a big fan of multiple binders, right? That's why we use G-cell. That's why we use bind in our process. Okay, so we decided to add yet a different type of binder which are these Along with the fulvates. So fulvates. this is kind of the fourth thing. So let's talk about fulvates. Why, yeah. why did we do this? Fulvates are an amazing binder too. And we were able to get a clean fulvate, right? Again, it's big it's problem. nature, big problem. Clean yeah. fulvic acids. Mm -hmm. So we found a clean, a nice, reliable clean, and it's soluble, mm -hmm. meaning that it's, it's going to also be a medium to smaller size particle. But the neat thing about fulvates is one, they can bind both metals and some organics. Mm -hmm. So they contribute to the efficacy of the clonotilite. Right. Right. right? We like the combination effect, yeah. And and there's and there's probably going to be a mutual a synergy there, yeah, between the two. And and because they bind different. Fulvates really go after heavy metals. You know, talk talk a little bit about it because people carbon will bind heavy metals. Let's call them inorganics in this case, but it doesn't do a great job like people it think. It Doesn't do a great job. Remember, yeah. metals are highly positively charged, right. and and just straight carbon doesn't carry a very significant mm -hmm. charge. But fulvates have a lot of oxygens in there. Yeah and they have some sulfurs and there's some other things, organically speaking, that allow us to form these different interactions. Mm -hmm. DMSA is a, that's a sulfur mm -hmm. metal bond, right? Yeah, no, great that's binder, a, great binder, sulfur, yeah, sulfur used correctly. Um, EDTA, same thing, mm -hmm. but it's not Great binder, group. yeah. And those, they carry a slightly negative charge which attracts the positive. Full, fulvates can do that mm -hmm. much better than just straight yeah. carbon. Yeah, so the point here is, is by adding different types of binders with this, okay, now you can see why it is New and improved. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these are visions that you know I have had for a long time, and and man, it wouldn't have happened without you. That's nope. for sure. And the so, technology gives yeah. us some flexibility in the future. Yeah. You know? No. No. No doubt. Yeah. Absolutely, it gives us flexibility in the future. So excellent. And the, there's a couple other things that we did better, right? Yeah. Uh, hearing from you, right? No plastic bottle. This is glass bottle. That's right. And it, we're not counting drops anymore. Right. We're actually Measure able them. to use milliliters, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, 0. 0.5 to 1 milliliter standard dose, you know, on this new product. So, yeah, so I mean, people out there with the old one, that's a really good point. Okay, I'm doing 10 drops, you know, three times a day or 10 drops two right. times a day. Uh, 0. 0.5, starting at 0. 0.5, you're probably somewhere in, in the zone up to one milliliter. Now, when you pull the dropper out, which is also glass, right. you can see the 0. 0.5 milliliter all the way to one milliliter. So I would suggest starting at 0.5, two to three times a day and working up to one milliliter, two yeah. to three times a and, day. And for those people that read labels, I also want to point out that when I mentioned the dilution effect, mm -hmm. when you look at a label and you see something that says clinoptilolite MCG, that's micrograms. There's a product, many products on the market that you and I look at and go, oh my gosh, yeah. that's, uh, they're microgramming yeah. us. And they had a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> but when you look into detail, it's like, right. wait, this is just micrograms. We're delivering mol milligrams, right? Yeah. right? There's a thousand fold difference. Yeah, totally. And, and yeah. this product, you know, is, it's at least seven times greater than what we had before. There's a lot yeah. of things we've done to things like concentration, bottles, yeah. measuring. I'm you know, sitting here, delivery. I'm sitting here talking about it, but let me actually just show. Look at it. this cool, cool box, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's new too. That's new too, right? So it comes in the cool box and then check cool out label. the glass bottle. Now, if I open this up, you'd see that even the dropper is glass. I mean, that's yeah. really awesome product. It's a childproof cap. Yeah, um, annoying to some people, but it's safe that way. No, no, it's good. Good to do that way. So, and by the way, I have to say the liposome. I was super nervous about the taste, and we launched this at our seminar, and everyone yeah. loved it. Yeah. I mean, it's well, a different it, taste. Yeah, mind you. well, because first of all, when you use a, a, a you're making something called a myoseal. Right? That's the yeah. liposome. Yeah, the liposome. Like I said, that do, that that double membrane, you have to use different ingredients like ethanol, mm -hmm. and we use organic ethanol, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you have to, to use, uh, we use um, sunflower phosphatidylcholine, mm -hmm. 
and then we also use organic glycerin and those three yeah. things together help with water yeah. because remember we're we're trying to form this little baby cell and all those different ingredients help that form yeah if you just do water or you just do one of the others they don't form better you know better a better delivery so it's system a real science yeah, yeah it's no it's science. totally i mean this is what pharmaceutical companies do yeah. to deliver things so yeah. this is uh this is amazing all right i know you're probably saying okay how do i get it first of all if you have a doctor that does cellular detox go to their office i'm sure they're carrying the product so um however i'm going to refer to matt you're going to tell him how to get it because there's even an easier better way so matt how can people get the new and improved cyto detox Thanks, Dr. Pompa. So what we've done to make this really easy on everyone watching this right now and to honor the cytodetox practitioners that are utilizing it in their clinic and make sure if they have in their clinic, just go to them and they'll take care of you. But what we've done to make it really simple for everyone watching on the show right now is we created this special website, www.bycytonow.com, B-U-Y-C-Y-T-O-N-O-W.com. And what we've done there is we've created uh, a great little video of you, Dr. Pompa, talking about more about the cellular technology, and we put a special spot in there to continue to honor those practitioners that have clients watching right now. Make sure you put their name in there for the discount, and again, if they're your clients or followers, Dr. Pompa, they would put your name in there. But that just assures that we're tracking this, that there's a practitioner associated with Cytodetox, and we just made it really easy that. So go to buycytonow.com, go there now, and that'll take care of the rest. So there you go, Dr. Pompa. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. If I would have done that, I'd have screwed it up somehow. So <laughs> thank you for doing that. Um, but look, uh, you know, I lost my life to this, you know, and, and that's why this is, it's always an, an emotional tie when I'm talking about detox. And I can't tell you how many times a week I'm on the phone with somebody and they're talking about the detox that they did. They either didn't work and most often actually makes them worse, yeah. you know, and, and you know this, right? You have to get into the cell for real detox, you gotta fix the cell to get well. More specifically, you have to detox the cell, and even more specifically, you have to go at it in the deep tissues in the brain, yeah. right? That's why, I mean, th this technology, it's a game changer, man. I always think to myself, imagine if I would've had this when I was getting my life back. You know, I mean, doing the brain phase, getting ALA, a fat soluble that goes into the brain, it no doubt helps get the mercury, inorganic mercury out of the brain, the deep tissues, but this technology, yeah, uh, and I'm with you. I, we don't we don't develop these technologies because it's just exciting. We develop them because we have to stay ahead of this. Yeah, the, the, the challenges are mounting. You know, with the eighty thousand chemicals now that we are exposed yeah. to. No, I, this is a yeah. it's a must for people to get their life back. But I, I think the irritating part for me is uh, just the things around detox that are said. I mean, I can't flip on a summit or uh, a podcast and just go railing when yeah. I talk about detox, honestly. And I, oftentimes I call you or send you an email. Can you believe that they, they say this? And I, I think, I think scientists, doctors, okay, I'll, I give you a pass because you're not biochemists, right? And, and for me, the only reason I know some of this stuff is because it's been my passion, right? It's how I got my life back. But, you know, it, it's like as a scientist watching and hearing some of these things that people say about detox or at least detox products, it must drive you mad. It drives it does me insane. Me. And, yeah. and, I don't watch a lot of TV, but when I do catch ads on this three day, one day, you know, Ten day, as yeah. long as you poop, you're okay. I mean, yeah. those that is very frustrating. Yeah, no, it is. Because yeah, yeah. It, it, it's not addressing anything. Yeah. When you look anything. at the other zeolite products on the market, when you look at all these detox products on the market, I'm telling you, it's like, I mean, if you just know some basic science, you go, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, does that really make sense? Well, look, uh, you know, we made it easy for you to get, and um, I have to thank you because honestly, yeah, this is this has been a, a dream project. and a vision of mine, you know, to do this, and uh, this is a game changer yeah. in the world of detoxification, and you know, helping these people that it is. Yeah, we don't want to sit still. We yeah. want to keep no, improving. No doubt. So, yeah. thanks, man. Love thank you. you. Appreciate you. Love you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have you on the show because just to kind of give you a foreshadow of what's to come. The microbiome, man, oh, another yeah. one of your specialties. It's the, next, it's the next big piece that we'll add to this. Yeah, wait, just wait. There's Soon, there's a product coming out that you've been working on how many years? Oh, man, 2008, seven, somewhere there, so 10 years. Stay tuned for yeah. that show. We're going to bring it, man. This is a game changer, too. So thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.